दीज आर द न्यूज दैट विल कवर टूडे ठीक है क्वांटम कंप्यूटिंग वेरी बिग न्यूज इन द एक्सप्लेन सेक्शन टूडे है ना क्वांटम कंप्यूटिंग द सेकंड न्यूज दैट विल कवर इज सिंगल यूज प्लास्टिक्स दिस वाज कवर्ड बाय विमेन एडिट विमेन स्कॉलर ईशा जज आलू वालिया ठीक है and if i give you a background of ishaja jaluwalia she is wife of montek singh aluwalia montek singh aluwalia has served planning commission for many years and you know, when the planning commission was active he was in fact the you know vice uh, uh, chairman of the planning commission the chairman of the planning commission uh, was always the prime minister he was the vice chairman of the planning commission so a very very learned person ishaja jaluwalia normally writes article in indian express on urban planning on waste management so every time she writes an article on any such subject you must read that article theek hai the third thing that we'll discuss is siachen glacier because recently the government has uh, you know given a notification that siachen glacier is open for tourists and lastly we'll discuss about the npa crisis of the banks only from a very narrow perspective which is there in the news it's a front page news is the first news in fact in indian express that telcos and uh, energy sector is facing lot of problem when it came when it has come to the energy when it has come to this npa crisis so let's start with the first topic which is i, I feel one of the most important and one of the most breakthrough achievement which has happened you know in the recent times so first of all let's understand what is the background of the entire news so background of the news is something called quantum supremacy what is it quantum supremacy now uh, computing is simple and the computing is how you are basically uh, solving a problem the sol solving a particular problem is nothing but computing the computers they do it using many important ways through coding and all so computing is something which is like solving a particular problem if i give a problem to you you solve it you're basically computing and in order to get to the answer so the computers are doing it because of some reasons right now quantum computing means that the computer is using the principles of uh, principles behind the principles uh, by which the atom atomic particles or subatomic particles work that's very very important uh, let's forget about this let's entirely forget about this understand that there is a you know, there's a lamp theek okay? hai a lamp and a bulb lamp and a bulb lamp and bulb gave the same give the same particular uh, thing what is that light hai na so both of them are giving the same particular thing called light but the lamp is using a different technology and the bulb is using a different technology lamp is basically using your fire but the bulb is using some you know deeper scientific understanding and you know, something deeper scientific understanding so bulb is using elect electrical understanding to make sure that the light is there so both of them are solving the same thing but the technologies are different bulb is not something which you can say is an advancement of lamp bulb is a different technology altogether similar to this is what i'm uh, what i'm trying to say is the difference between quantum computer and classical computers so quantum co classical computer is like a lamp and quantum computer is like a bulb so both of them are you know used for the same purpose which is computing which is solving any particular problem but the technology they are using behind is totally different are you getting my point when it comes to classical computer they use the principle the science behind electricity so electricity they which is your science hai they are using that are you getting my point but on the other hand the quantum computer is using the science behind the movement of atoms so atom atomic particles subatomic particles so the science behind both of them are different the quantum computer is using something else and the classical computer is using something else now in classical computer using electricity like the principles behind electricity the classical computers does computing in binary so either it is one or it is zero for example let's say you are playing a game which is solitaire example and then you are playing a game which is solitaire and on a computer it's a basic game which everyone has i, I, I probably think has played you know if you are playing a game in solitaire and you choose a card and then the and then there's a you know computer the choice hai to choose their card so the computer will choose a card which will be either x or y depending upon you know one or zero you getting the point so for example if the computer says that if i choose a k and the k means 1 and if i choose a queen which is 0 so what i'm choosing is i'm either choosing 1 or i'm choosing 0 
so computer is choosing between both of them one or zero this is classical computing are you getting the point so they will choose one card and finally give it to you so computer has made sure that they are choosing between both of them either one or zero but when it comes to quantum computing they don't deal with binary they deal with what is very interesting thing called spectrum spectrum now what when it comes to spectrum it is basically one and zero ke beech mein koi bhi value quantum computing is not one and is not zero it can be one or zero at the same time it can be something which is in between it can be like more one less zero for example let's say take this take an example of this take this example and in this case what happens is now the, the now the computer chooses either one or zero right here the computer will not choose one or zero here the computer will always make sure ki they are choosing a spectrum it, they can pick up k as well they can pick up q as well the more chances of picking the k is more as compared to q now here in a quantum computer the computer has more choices to pick from k or q here there is a 50% chance that the k will be picked and there is a 50% chance that the queen will be picked but here there is a 70% chance or 30% chance or whatever in between that they will be picked because it works in this principle are you getting my point is very very interesting in quantum computers what they do they solve they have many things so they don't work in binary they have multiple identities they have multiple identities there is always uncertainty which is involved between 1 and 0 there's always uncertainty which is involved between 1 and 0 and on the basis of this uncertainty they have many options to choose from here you only have options 1 and 0 here you have multiple options so because of this principle the processing speed the processing speed becomes very high because of this principle the processing speed of a quantum computer becomes very high because of this the safety aspect of the quantum computer becomes very amazing the safety aspects i will discuss that so these all reasons are there in order to make sure that the quantum computer is there now what's exactly happened right now in 2012 or in probably in 2012 yes there was a, uh, a scientist who said that quantum supremacy will be achieved when when a quantum computer will solve a particular problem which will not be solved by a normal computer in 2012 this guy he said one thing that the quantum supremacy will be reached when a, a problem which is solved by a quantum computer is not getting is not being able to solve by the normal computer are you getting my point google google was making a quantum computer processor they have made which is called syncamore syncamore google has brought this processor called syncamore this is basically a quantum processor the basic science behind syncamore is not this lamp but this bulb it works on the principles of quantum computing rather than working on the principles of classical computing this particular processor has solved a particular problem in almost like i think 200 seconds which was not being solved by the normal computer in 10000 years so a normal computer would solve the same problem in 10000 years while this particular computer has solved it in 200 seconds which means that this particular processor syncamore which works on the basis of quantum computing has achieved quantum supremacy and this is the news all about now quantum computing the advantages ki ki hai what are the advantages of quantum computing many important things write down the advantages of quantum computing so they can give you a question in gs3 what are the advantages of quantum computing number 1 <coughs> encryption 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 means that you are you are sending a message to somebody and that message cannot be deciphered by anyone which is in the in between you and between the sender and the receiver the message could cannot be deciphered between the sender and the receiver the decoding of the message is generally done by the hackers 
so what hackers do they have lot of you know they have lot of tools with them through which they can decode the message between the sender and the receiver for example let's say uh, you, uh, you are you are interacting with your bank the bank is the receiver you are the sender you are interacting with your bank and you are sending your bank account details now some hacker will try to make sure that whatever bank account details you are sent to your bank the hacker will try to retrieve those details by decoding the encryption encryption is extremely important are you getting the point now why is hacker able to do it because the computer the classical computing works in binary one or zero so it is easier for him to decrypt the, the the code it is easier for him because there are not very there are not much options there to decode they he has just have to play it in binary but if i give some uncertainty in this code if i give some uncertainty in this code which means if i give them a value between one or zero it will be very and there are infinite values it will be very difficult for the hacker to decode that message most of the banks today they are applying quantum computing principles in their transactions these days so they are investing in these business so the security features and the safety aspect of the quantum computing will become greater the second thing artificial intelligence what is artificial intelligence anyone abhi what is artificial intelligence with artificial intelligence is basically that a computer when is when a computer starts acting like a human being you come under the realm of artificial intelligence so when a when a when a computer becomes intelligent that is called artificial intelligence now for example the computer is playing a game of chess with you now you you are doing some moves on the basis of your move the computer is basically moving his own areas to is cheez ko hum kya bolenge ki computer is becoming intelligent is it or not for example solitaire ki game hai to hum ek card choose karte hain to wo bhi ek card choose karta hai wo kis cheez ke basis pe kar raha hai aapne kaun sa card choose kiya hai so that is also what artificial intelligence are you getting my point but is have we made computer very much intelligent no we have not given computer emotions we have not given computer in a consciousness consigns ethics a computer cannot talk to you like a human being is talking to you you know for example if you have some problem and you go to a human being and you ask you tell him that i have this problem that particular human being will try to solve those you know there will be a emotional aspect to that so we have not made computer intelligent enough we have made computer intelligent but not intelligent enough now classical computing has certain risk problems they are not able to make the computer intelligent enough so what is the solution quantum computing in quantum computing you can make computer more intelligent because you have more options available the third thing which is very interesting is teleportation what is teleportation teleportation is you know right now you receive a call from somebody that somebody is located in remote place you are located in some other place and you are you know talking to that person it can be a voice call it can be video call but both of them you are located at remote locations to each other that is called normal conversation teleportation is if i do something i try to bring the image of that particular object or that particular you know person in your location he is there he is he is available in your area and he is also there in that particular area as well the image of that particular person is in your area now and he is talking to you like as if he is standing there and talking to you that is called teleportation it's a sci-fi concept isn't it virtual reality virtual not virtual reality virtual reality is different virtual reality is that you know that particular person is at two places at the same time this is called teleportation he is like for example if you want to talk to somebody in canada you are in bathinda and you are in canada also that's called teleportation now teleportation is it looks like some sci-fi movie right hai na koi sci-fi movie the concept hai but quantum computing is doing it in quantum computing you can have both the values 1 and 0 at the same time and both 1 and 0 can interact with each other 
and that's that principle that the quantum computing has is being used in order to make sure the teleportation is happening there's something which is amazing fourth important feature <coughs> big data so in big data also quantum computers uh, quantum computing is being used on a very large scale big data so big data means that a lot of data is coming and you have to process that data and finally after processing that data you have to come to a particular decision quantum computing can process the data very fast they can process the data very fast and you know and they'll get get back to you as soon as possible in health especially in drug discovery drug discovery quantum computing can also be very very interesting drug discovery means that today what we do is for example there is a disease and we try to find a drug in order to cure this disease right that's very simple if there is a disease we are trying to find a drug that is helping us to cure this disease now how do you find how do you make sure that the drug will cure this disease you will make sure that you have to know the disease first what are the reasons for the disease either it's a virus or a bacteria or what and then you have to make a drug according to that now when you are making a drug you are making lot of you know lot of uh, combinations you are using many materials and you are trying to make sure that you get the perfect drug which will help cure this disease so you are doing lot of combinations these combinations are happening on a physical level right now in a particular lab and you know, they will mix x amount of this material with y amount of this mineral and finally they will mix and they will then you know see whether this particular drug is able to solve this disease or not so you're making millions and millions of combinations physically and this is costing the you know laboratories a lot and then finally they go for patents and you know, and they finally you know make sure that the the patented drug is very high in cost because they have you know millions and millions of combinations they have run and you know, only in this millions combination only one combination worked but for the rest of the combination the cost was so high that they decided okay they will charge some amount of money from the patient using quantum computing rather than testing it physically you will just put this entire data in your in your quantum computer and the quantum computer will do calculations as fast as possible and will bring out the you know result that this is the perfect combination of the drug and you can use this drug to solve the problem of this thing and you know, amazing quantum computing is bringing all these kind of things you know, in the in the future and the quantum supremacy is nothing but it is the first step towards that so that's the reason why google's quantum supremacy is one of the most important breakthrough achievement that has happened in the past in in 3 days or 4 days back there's a full news on quantum computing you can go and watch that as well google ne khud quantum computing de upar ek puri video banayi hai it's a 3 to 4 minutes video you can go and watch it's one of the most amazing videos ठीक है सो नेक्स्ट टॉपिक आते हैं लेट्स डिस्कस नेक्स्ट टॉपिक व्हिच इज योर सेकंड टॉपिक इसी का सिंगल यूज प्लास्टिक राइट सिंगल यूज प्लास्टिक हां जी व्हाट इज सिंगल यूज प्लास्टिक एनीवन so background of the news is that uh, our prime minister has said that on 15th of august that by 2022 we will eliminate the use of single use plastic from india so they've given a target that by 2022 we will eliminate the use of this particular thing from india so this is what is called what is a single use plastic first of all let's understand that single use plastic is any plastic that is used for the only for one time and then finally it is thrown any examples you have straws, straws yes so the material that is used in packaging the material that is used what we say is uh, you know disposables we call it as disposables so all the material that is used in disposable is all single use plastics your straws your plates you know the bread wrappers the chips jise vich aanda ho pura da pura packet the magazine covers all this is nothing but single use plastic so single use plastic the problem ki what is the problem of single use plastic there are many issues with single use plastic the problems of single use plastics can you can you tell few of them 3000 years tak ki dispose nahi honda so single use plastic the sabse badi problem hai that is non biodegradable right although all plastics are non biodegradable so single use plastic is non biodegradable which means that it cannot be degraded by any any kind of biotech organism 
which means it remains in the environment in fact it bio accumulates bio accumulates it goes in your drain system it blocks your drain system and it creates floods hai na so it leads to floodings finally this drain enters the river the river enters the sea and finally this entire plastic goes to the sea this plastic is also eaten by many livestock damaging their gut system and finally leading to their death so livestock is again having a problem and in sea there is a very famous great pacific garbage have you heard about it great pacific garbage where you will find in pacific ocean great pacific garbage that a lot of plastic has been accumulated in that pacific ocean and it is leading to death of many aquatic organisms now this is a very big problem of the single use plastic theek okay, hai so prime minister is very apt when he says that on 20, by 2022 we will eliminate all the single use plastics in india now she the in uh, this uh, lady isha jajalu waliya has given some ways by which you can make sure that the single use plastic is you know not there in india so she talks about many things first of all she says that it is important that we must levy a fees so the first thing that she says is ke levy a fees on use of single use plastics so right now you go to a kirana wala or even like uh, you go to walmart hai na the walmart guy or the kirana wala will give you plastic for free he will give you that in a plastic bag for free will it la ja koi baat hai na even if you don't want it they will still give you free if i levy a fee on him or probably i say that if you will you know if if he if he says to the customer that if you want this plastic bag you need to pay 5 rupees extra so probably the demand side will make sure that the plastic consumption gets reduced isn't it or not in fact in ireland she has mentioned in the, the case study of ireland that levying a fees on this single use plastic led to 95% decline how much 95% decline 95% decline of the sing use of single use plastic just levying a fees you have to remember a very important plastic waste management rules that came in 2016 this rules were brought by the government of india plastic waste management rules and in these rules it said that every uh, this kirana wala in every uh, particular city will pay an annual fee will pay an annual fee to the urban local body of that particular area for making sure that he is he is giving lot of uh, this single use plastics or there are single use plastics agar wo urban fee de raha hai agar wo fee de raha hai to obviously gal hai for fee di collection karan waste he will charge this particular fee from the customer and definitely will dampen the demand isn't it or not wo demand wo dampen karega and is karke this can become very much beneficial if it if it works and as so the first thing she says is levy a compulsory charge the second she says you know that's very interesting roads you know in roads you can use it theek hai so she has mentioned a data she said that in india almost 14000 kilometers of road in india has been built using single use plastic so she has mentioned a data that 14000 km of road length has been built using single use plastic and then she goes on to say that it's almost like one and a half years since that that has come and there's no pothole in these roads so the strength of the road is also very good so she says that we must make sure that all the single use plastic gets to the road somehow clear hai the third thing she says is that we can thermo mechanically thermo mechanically alter this single use plastic and make sure that we can make proper plastic out of it for example let's say pipes in irrigation hai na pipes dekhe na irrigation de vich use hundi hai ya to de karan de vich jehdi pipe network lagya hunda hai so we can use this single use plastic we can combine this single use plastic thermo mechanically and we can make big plastics and then finally we can use this big plastics in our whatever needs we have pipes dekhe hon gaya tusi so pipes jehdi hai tube ma hai na tube pipes ho gaya you can use it in that as well so she has mentioned that as well then definitely she says that you know a few behavioral changes can also help behavioral changes like for example 
there's a very interesting behavioral change ke if you have like hai na if you have a packet of milk hai na if you have a packet of milk what people normally do in the packet of milk they want to peel it off hai na what what do you guys do normally you take this particular thing out hai na ek packet of milk hai to us upar la hissa pluck kita and finally ono sitta and rest of it is left is it or not a small behavioral change what just cut it using a scissor hai na just scissor and then finally pour the milk in your tumbler will help reduce single use plastic why because now you can dispose this particular packet but once you have thrown that particular small area hai na thing out alag uh, karta so that is that cannot be disposed of so edda karke chote chote behavioral changes for example in parties you can have you know washable tableware she says washable tableware rather than having disposables hai na use of bamboo use of paper so she says magazine covers hai na whenever the magazine comes it comes in plastic it's important that the magazine covers can be can come in your uh, paper in your at your port if you have gone to airport you you must have seen ke airport de upar when they pack a particular thing they pack it with plastic so she says that it's better to replace it with some pretty cloth है ना सो क्लोथ दी स्टिचिंग कर दो एंड दैट कैन आल्सो बी डन सो सिंगल यूज प्लास्टिक्स नो अगर एलिमिनेट करना है अब बिहेवियरल चेंज कैन आल्सो हैपन एंड शी इज गिवन मेनी एग्जांपल्स वे सिंगल यूज प्लास्टिक हैज बीन एलिमिनेटेड इन वेरियस कंट्रीज ऑल एंड अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड सो इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज़ सो दिस न्यूज़ कैन बी देयर इन जीएस 2 यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट द न्यूज़ एंड आल्सो इन जीएस 3 सो इन जीएस 3 देयर इज अ टॉपिक ऑफ एनवायरमेंट एंड देयर यू कैन गेट अ क्वेश्चन what is the question that you can get they can ask you that what things need to be done in order to make sure that single use plastic is eliminated from india by 2022 yeah give some suggestions you getting my point you give suggestions though so that the single use plastic can be removed eliminated from india by 2022 clear hai so these are the two important news that i'll cover